here comes the bridesmaid. I'm shouting out to all brides-to-be with tips on how to choose the most flattering dresses for your entourage. I've got A-lines, cap sleeves, and lots of other lovelies that'll have your best girls saying we do. Hi, I'm Marcy Guevara, and as a six-time bridesmaid, almost seven, the wedding was canceled after I bought the dress, I certainly know the struggle in finding a dress suitable for being in or even just attending a wedding. My dresses have run the gamut, from hideous to overly trendy, ill-fitting, to one where I kind of looked like a pirate. How many times have you cringed just because you dreaded finding a dress? Well, I want you to look like the amazing woman you are, not like a fashion victim hiding in the corner. Ladies planning a wedding, listen up. Throwing a shawl over your bridesmaid's arms does not make her look skinny, I promise. So compliment them with what you choose to dress them in, just as they're complimenting you by agreeing to be in your bridal party. Choose flattering styles like this lovely lavender strapless empire waist dress. Or if your bridesmaids are concerned about their legs, try a floor length design like this beautiful gown or a cap sleeve like this Ishakti dress, which is great for larger arms. They offer up to a size 3X or 26, and most dress lengths and necklines are customizable. Genius. One trend in recent years has been allowing bridesmaids to choose their own dresses. If they do, I think they should at least all be from the same manufacturer so that there's some consistency. With so many bridesmaids dresses to choose from, how do you know which cut works on what type of girl? We went to visit Donna Morgan's showroom to find out. I'm here at the Pistol and Stamen showroom in Los Angeles to talk about the Donna Morgan Bridesmaid line with my fabulous friend, stylist, and designer, Noelle Jean. Hello. We're gonna talk about all the different types of dresses that work on different types of bodies. Donna Morgan has some amazing cuts that come in all sorts of colors. These come in a size zero to 18. So we're gonna talk about which would be best for your apple, your pear, your rectangle, whatever body shape your girls have. So we've got some dresses here we've picked out. Yeah, we have the first one here. This style is called the Donna. Um, it's really great for women who are curvy, who want to accentuate their decolletage. Some women aren't comfortable with strapless dresses, and that's fine. But if you are, this is definitely a great silhouette. Has a great bodice, has some rouging detail, has a great belt that comes with it. And it's in a cocktail length, so it's a bit fun and flirty. This is a great look, especially for you know creating that cute little waist that everyone wants. Always wants to create a really Let's great waist. Let's talk about this one. This is the Elizabeth. It comes in this great color. It's a really wonderful color, as well as a silhouette for any also hourglass kind of curvy shape. It comes in a V-neck, and it's a higher V-neck. So if you're a bit busty and you don't want to overflow a bit. You just have a bit more support. It's really great. And it also comes in this floor length, which is wonderful. If you're not a fan of your legs and you just want a bit more coverage, this is a great silhouette for that. Absolutely. It's also great for, you know, an evening wedding, a yeah. black tie event. This is something that's gorgeous, classy, it, yeah. and, you know, sort of got that goddess feel. And we've got Jessie. We got this lovely Jessie. This is a great silhouette. It's very classic. It's got an unpure waist, which is lovely. And if you do have kind of a smaller chest. This is great because it's it's a plunging neckline. It accentuates all the right features. It kind of flows out a bit because it has this gathering detail. Um, so if you want to kind of cover any you know problem areas in your midsection, it's really great. It also comes in the cocktail length, so that's good. Absolutely, and all of these dresses come in like tons of different colors, yep. and there's lots of different cuts. I'm just absolutely loving this line for bridesmaids. Tailoring is extra important, especially for us plus size girls. That way you can ensure proper fit and make sure you're flattered in all the right places. Even if you're not in the wedding, I know finding a dress can still be a grueling task. In terms of fit, look for cuts that follow the natural lines of your body. Scoop necks like this adorable Adriana Papel are especially flattering. I also love tasteful v-necks like this multicolored Adriana Papel and sweetheart cuts are totally cute for us curvy girls. But if you're feeling a little spicy, try something with an asymmetrical neckline. I love this also because it's got a great sleeve so it's nice if your arms are your trouble area. Or if you're feeling like you want something a little bit more versatile and less formal, I am loving this black and white cap sleeve. I will say, you want to be careful not to outshine the bride. Weddings are the one place where it's okay to let someone else shine. Also, never ever wear white to a wedding. No off-white or beige either. For outdoor weddings, take a cute cardigan in case it gets cool, and consider wedges over heels. You'll be more comfortable and you won't be sinking into the grass all night. Also, be aware that if the ceremony is religious, it might be important to cover your shoulders. What's the worst bridesmaid's dress you've ever worn? Describe it in the comments section below. And remember, it may be a skinny world out there, but style has no size.